Well, right now, new at six, we're all paying more right now for energy this winter season. That's why some may now be thinking about switching to solar. But how do you know if it's right for your home? Channel 3's Wendell Edwards explains what you need to know before you cut the power. Homeowner Christina Ferrari of Northville says her electric bill is just way too high. It's been going up. <laughs> it's been getting a little outrageous. So she made a choice to switch to solar. Her high bill, she says, is what pushed her to make the call. Basically, it's going to keep your electric bill is going to keep going up. Inflation is sending energy costs literally through the roof, and more homeowners are looking to solar to save. The owners of Ion Solar Pros in Connecticut says, as a result, business is booming. The three main factors which is contributing to uh, a lot of growth and demand in the industry right now is with consumers, predictability, control, and savings. We ask experts, though, what you need to consider before flipping the switch. First of all, you need, you need roof space. You need roof with you know, enough area to put panels on, which also means a roof that doesn't have a lot of things poking up out of it. The inclination of the roof is also key, and you want enough panels to cover your power needs. It doesn't really make sense to put up panels that would be generating more electricity than you're using. But the biggest question is, how do you afford it? It is the cost that is the biggest deterrent to solar panels. If you buy them outright, the average unit can cost 20K. That could take seven to 10 years, if not longer, to pay off. You can rent panels too from most solar companies. Or you could have a, a, another company, uh, a third party, either lease those panels to you or uh, you could purchase the power off those panels through what's called a power purchase agreement. The savings vary. The higher your bill, the more likely you will benefit from switching. If you rent them, you can save as much as 120 bucks a month or $1,400 a year, according to Nerd Wallet. If you buy them, you could eliminate your electric bill altogether after you pay the panels off. Eversource says just be careful before you switch and do your homework. What we really encourage people to think about is this is a home improvement project. Uh, and, and while uh, uh, someone might come up to you with a good deal for their solar for a solar project, um, it, it really makes sense to shop around. Christina Ferrari is firm in her choice. Her panel should be on and working in a few weeks, soaking up the sun and saving her money. In Northville, Wendell Edwards, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.